Welcome to the video tutorial of JPA Modeler. In this tutorial we will discuss about the entity primary keys corresponding to derived identities. Every entity object that is stored in the database has a primary key and uniquely identified by the combination of its type and its primary key. Primary key values are unique per entity class. Instances of different entity classes, however, may share the same primary key value. So that, sharing of the same primary key value is the topic of this tutorial means derived identities. Entity may also share the composite primary key value. A composite primary key consists of multiple primary key fields. When an entity has multiple primary key fields, JPA requires defining a special ID class that is attached to the entity class using the ID class annotation. The ID class reflects the primary key fields and its objects can represent primary key values. An alternate way to represent a composite primary key is to use an embeddable class. The primary key fields are defined in an embeddable class. The entity contains a single primary key field that is annotated with embedded ID and contains an instance of that embeddable class. When using this form a separate ID class is not defined because the embeddable class itself can represent complete primary key values. The embedded ID or ID class annotation is used to denote a composite primary key. So we will draw example 5. In this case parent entity person has two primary key first name and last name. Person ID class is attached to the entity class using the ID class annotation and it reflects the primary key fields of person. So first to start with create a new file and select categories as persistence and file types as JPA diagram with name derived identity. And click finish. Now you can see, NeatBeans has created the JPA diagram. So first to draw diagram, we will select entity from palette window and drag it to diagram container and name the person. Now we will to ID attribute and name it first name and last name. Now person entity contains composite primary key so we will attach ID class name person ID to the person entity class. The person ID class reflects the primary key fields of person entity. So you can see in right side person property panel, composite key type property set it is ID class and composite key class property set it is person ID. Now we will check the current source code status. So that right click on diagram container and click on generate source code. Now you can see in project explorer, all source code has been generated in test package. Oh, I forget to create persistence unit. So to create persistence unit, 
Edit Persistence Unit Property and Diagram Property Panel and set it as Sample PU. And generate source code again. You can compare it with example 5 given in JPA's specification. Now we will create the Dependent Entity Medical History class. You can see an example medical history has one to one a knee directional relationship with person which is derived primary key. Mains, person entity class share its primary key value with medical history entity class. So. We will create a new directional one-to-one -one primary key relation with person entity and named it patient. The medical history entity is the owner of a one-to-one -one relationship to the person entity and a foreign key maps the relationship from dependent to parent. So the identity of a medical history entity derived from the identity of person entity. The person has a composite primary key, so we'll use ID class to specify the primary key of the medical history entity. It is not necessary that parent entity and dependent entity both use embedded IDS or both use ID classes to represent composite primary keys when the parent has a composite key. Example also contains join column annotation so we will add some join column. and generate source code again. Now in second case, medical history entity use embedded ID to specify the primary key. So we will change the composite key type property set it is embedded ID and embedded ID is generated. Now generate source code again and compare it with example 5 given in JPA's specification.
Ok now we have checked example 5 completely. Now it's time to check example 6 in which parent entity use embedded ID class to represent composite primary key. So everything is same, we will change the person composite key type property set it is embedded ID. Now generate source code again and compare it with example 6 given in JPA's specification. As specified in example 6 case, a medical history use ID class to represent composite primary key. So we will change the medical history composite key type property set it as ID class. Now generate source code again and compare it with example 6 case a given in JPA's specification. Now we will example 6 case B, in which medical history use embedded ID to represent composite primary key. So we will change the medical history composite key type property set it as embedded ID. Now generate source code again and compare it with example 6 case B given in JPA's specification. Thank you.